can you build a $10 river sluice? things so expensive it's sheet metal the challenge with building something on the cheap is tools and materials the first thing i was like what am i going to make it out of what's what's inexpensive enough to make a ten dollar sluice the old timers use wood not exactly portable and i tried 3d printing a sluice <laughs> didn't work the obvious answer is aluminum sheet metal while aluminum sheet is available at every hardware store stock is limited I was going to have to design my sluice according to whatever size I could get. That's when I discovered flashing. Flashing is super thin aluminum that's sold in rolls. It's used in construction for sealing awkward angles on roofs and siding. It's easy to cut, easy to bend, and because it's only 0.01 of an inch thick, it's cheap. Very cheap. So I grabbed a 2 foot by 10 foot roll for around $25. Next, I needed a way to form it. Harbor Freight has an 18 inch bending break within my budget, but the sides were gonna be 24 inches long. The next size up was 30 inches, but that was more than I wanted to spend. So instead, I got a two by four and I made my own bending break for around $3, except I also needed a circular saw, but I needed one anyway. Once I made my break, I made quick work of the bends. Cheap is the name of the game here. So expensive name brand mats are just out of the question. I have plans for future versions to have low V matting, miners, moss, expanded metal, and riffles, but those all add cost. Oh, what else have we got? The old reliable standby for matting then is carpet. Carpet. Carpet is the word of the day. You want commercial carpet with rubber backing cut to size. And there really should be a pattern that's perpendicular to the flow of water. The commercial floor mat is what I ended up using. Using the side stuff, which I don't want, so I gotta cut that off. This is 24 inches, but I want four inches for the low profile V. Just, uh, I like to use rubber cement. It's waterproof. You can take the matting out.
I took it to the creek to check out how it played with the rocks and stuff, and to see if I could keep the whole thing from washing downstream in the current. Oh, uh, I also added a flare. I made it down here. The carpet absorbs the water once it's in the river, and it gets really heavy. But, the aluminum is very flexible, so I don't think you could use it in a situation where the bottom is not completely supported all the way down the sluice. And then finally after that, I hooked it up to a recirculating system and I ran a little dirt loaded with lead filings from my son's sinkers. I've got my test set up. I'm just kind of making do with what I got here. It's a little steep, it's a lot of water. I'm gonna see if I can recover my lead. I've got pictures of how much lead I've got. I'm gonna mix it in with some of this dirt from New Mexico and I'll see what I get. I've got some of my New Mexico dirt here, lead shavings. Mix it up. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Getting the dirt out of the rug as well. There's the concentrates. See some of the bigger pieces of lead in there. Oop, I think I just lost one. There's what I got. No, well, I'll have to dry it out and weigh it. See how much I got back. And there you have it. You can definitely build a sluice for around $10. Weighing out the pros and cons. Pros, it's an extremely accessible point of entry into the hobby of gold prospecting. This makes a good sized sluice as easy to get as a gold pan. You can process more dirt faster. And to me, what I think is also very important is it can be easily modified. Once you get a $10 sluice, you don't need to worry about destroying the thing or whatever. On the other hand, cons, you can only buy materials that are in sizes too big for a single sluice. And I can't stress this one enough, it's flimsy. It's super flimsy. It is very flimsy. You have to keep the bottom supported. And honestly, the recovery was not good. It wasn't even 50%. Although you could kind of make up for it by processing more dirt. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments below and click subscribe to keep an eye out for my next video. And please, if you enjoyed this content, check out my other videos. Thank you.